Welcome back to the greenhouse. Thought I'd do a quick update on this cold January day. This weather station here is telling me that it's 38 degrees here in Springville. Got some snow overnight, not a lot. Mostly rain down here in the valleys. And uh, so let's see how the greenhouse is doing. Put a combo lock on the door, which makes it kind of nice so that I don't need a key. The entry room, the sensor is telling me it's 58 degrees in here and there is no heat source whatsoever in here. That just blows me away. There's only cooling pipes in here for geothermal. The main grow room, the sensors are telling me 58 to 63 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on where they're located. Really comfortable, smells great in here. This is a great place to hang out in January if you're in Utah and you're not skiing. So I'll update you on uh, progress of things. This is passion fruit, just going nuts. I need to start cutting it back. It's just been fun to watch it grow. Tomato that uh, just keeps growing. You can see it's healthy. I pruned it a little bit on the bottom, but not much. It's got some new tomatoes on it. Dragon fruit keeps going. So the bananas, ground temperature around the bananas is about 60 degrees. We'd love it to be warmer than that. They don't like to grow when they're, oh, below 65, but they do great in the summer. Eureka lemon, some Myers lemon. This is avocado, a little pepper plant that started, found its way into this pot by seed somehow, and it's gotten munched a little bit by some of the flies, but doing just fine. This is an Australian finger lime. I haven't shown this much. It was tiny when I got it last April, and it has more than doubled in size. Still eating lots of figs. They just keep coming. Pineapples, bigger one's been here longer. The others are new in the fall. This lime tree was tiny when we got it last spring and it has grown a bunch. See, we got tomatoes still ripening on that back wall. These tomatoes, you can see the leaves are getting brown. They've struggled a little bit with this cold. We've left them there just for the fun of it. Here's another tomato plant that's doing just fine though. You can see the leaves all look healthy. It's got some new tomatoes on it. And this is an artichoke plant and you can see we've got artichokes on it. I think there's five right here. That's kind of fun in January in Utah to get artichokes. And then one of the things we've done in here just to test it is we wanted to plant some things, see how they grow in the winter, some vegetables, things you don't typically grow here in the winter. We thought we'd give it a shot and I'll show you how they're doing. Some beets, some spinach, carrots, Carrots didn't come up as well as we thought, but they still came up. It's a watermelon radish variety, and it is just doing great. Chard, arugula, a couple different lettuce varieties here, some basil, and you get uh, more lettuce and beets, and spinach down beyond there. Really happy to be honest with you how well they're doing. Just have never, never tried them in winter. Last winter, we just had a couple fruit trees in here. So it's been fun to try new things and see what works and what doesn't. Threw some things in the aquaponics, look how well the lettuce is doing. Basil's been getting munched by some little flies. These are some newer things we put in here recently. Basil and spinach, again, fairly new. Put 
put some up on the raft as well. So all in all, we're happy. Things are growing well. This is kind of a weird project. You can see this kind of rainbow hoop. I have some exhaust pipes there in the corner and I wanted to, those are basically for cooling. I wanted to capture air closer to the top or the peak of the greenhouse. So I found this hoop, this kid's play hoop for 20 bucks delivered like next day from Amazon. It allows me to capture a uh, more peak heat from the top of the greenhouse and then in the summer when we reverse the air flowing back from the shop building to the greenhouse to bring in cool air i'm going to put this thing and just run it along the grow bed there to direct my cool air coming in so that it's not immediately going back out these vents here so that little fun little thing to play around only 20 bucks fairly easy to put together that's an update of some of the things in here. I haven't uh, bored you with everything in here, but uh, a lot of new growth on the citrus. I've been noticing, this is a mango. You can see some new growth on the mango. Mangoes have struggled in here in the summer. We're gonna keep trying until we get it right. That's a quick update. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this or comments or suggestions. We love your feedback. Love to hear what you're doing. And that's the update for now.